With this video we will learn how to extract aerodynamic forces acting on a body. We will start from a CFD simulation result. We will upload it inside Paraview and here we will extract lift and drag. So as you can see on the screen there is Paraview. We will open a simulation result and we will have in the window our computational domain. We will use console simulation result and I will show you how to apply Paraview filters on that particular file in order to compute aerodynamic forces. First thing to do is to extract the surface on which we want to evaluate aerodynamic loads. In order to do so, I apply a filter called extract block and in the properties window I select the plane that is my surface where I want to calculate my forces. So once I click apply you will see the plane has been extracted from the entire solution file showing us the contour pressure on that plane. Now we need to elaborate this solution in order to compute lift and drag. As you already know, lift by definition acts in the orthogonal direction with respect to the wind flow as well as drag acts on the same along the same direction in this case the wind is directed as the z axis so the lift will be directed along the y while drag along the z so we have to project pressure along these two directions and in order to do so we need to compute a normal for each phase of our surface so now we have to extract the surface and to do so we use the filter called extract surface and then we need to generate surface normals for each phase of our surface and there is a filter called generate surface normals here before clicking apply we have to tick compute cell normals and click apply so now the list of variables has pressure as well as normals so we have a normal vector for each phase of our surface at this point we can compute lift and drag so we need to apply the calculator filter let's call the first one lift it will act along the y direction the attribute mode is sale data and the formula we have to prescribe is pressure that is a scalar multiplied by the normals along y this way we are projecting the pressure along the y-axis to compute lift so we can rename this as lift so now we can add also drag calculation again attribute mode cell data let's the results array name be drag formula is pressure times normal z component we click apply rename it drag and that's it we have our forces and now the final step in order to compute lift and drag is to integrate 
all these variables on the surface and in order to do so you go to filters alphabetical and integrate variables click apply and in the spreadsheet that appears on the right you select attribute cell data and you see your drag and your lift calculate here and they are of course in newtons so that's how you can integrate the pressure projected along lift and drag axis on your surface in order to obtain the global forces acting on your body.